While every setting on Virtual DJ is important, there are a few essential settings you gotta tweak if you want to get the smoothest DJ experience. So let's dive in and explore 15 settings you need to change on Virtual DJ in order to supercharge your DJing skills. Do you ever get tired of manually resetting your EQ and stems every time you load a new song? Well, Virtual DJ has two built-in time saver options called Reset EQ and Reset Stems on Load. These two settings automatically reset your equalizer and stems for you whenever you load a new song, which saves you valuable time. To enable this, simply go to the Settings area, open the Options tab and navigate to the Automation category. Now check the yes boxes next to Reset EQ and Reset Stems. And just like that, every time you load a new song, your EQ and stems will reset to their default state, leaving you more time to focus on delivering a killer mix without scrambling to adjust settings. Next up is the Play Mode setting, which is found under the Controls category. This setting has two options, Play Stutter and Play Pause. When set to play stutter, pressing the play button starts the song normally. And when pressed again while the song is playing restarts it from the beginning or the last cue point. On the other hand, play pause offers a more traditional behavior. Pressing play starts the song and pressing it again pauses the playback. Feel free to choose the play mode that best suits your style and mixing techniques. At number 13 we have the Q mode setting, which is also found under the controls category. This setting determines what happens when you press the Q button, and has three options, default Q, Q hold, and Q cup. The default Q acts like a classic stutter which means that pressing the Q button starts the music, and releasing it stops the music and returns to the Q point. The other option is Q hold, and this option still functions as a stutter for your songs, but if you press it longer than two seconds, then the song will continue playing, as compared to the default Q that would stop the song immediately. The last option is Q-Cup, and this is an interesting option because it does two things. It can play on release and it can also stop and rewind on push. Playing on release means that when you press the Q button, instead of acting as a stutter like the default Q and Q hold, it will instead start playing the song immediately, and once you press it again while the song is playing it will rewind back to the cue point and start playing again. At numbers 12 and 11, we have loopback mode and loop auto move, which are essential for looping during your sets. Loopback mode which is found under the controls category, is set to smart mode by default. Smart mode places your loops in front or behind the playhead, depending on whether the song is playing or not. This means that if you activate a loop while the song is not playing it will place that loop in front of the playhead. And if you activate a loop while the song is playing it will place it behind the playhead. This makes smart mode great for flexible looping because it adapts to your current playback state. But you can deactivate this by checking No, which will now ensure that loops always go forward, which is good if you prefer predictable loop placements. On the other hand, activating it by checking Yes for backward loops lets you catch beats you just passed, which is useful for creative looping techniques. Moving on to Loop Auto Move. This setting determines whether your loops move with the playhead or stay in place. Setting this to Yes makes your loops follow the playhead as you skip through the song, which is perfect for maintaining loop positions relative to your current track location. Setting it to No keeps the loops in place, which is useful for fixed looping points, which allows you to revisit specific sections without readjusting your loops. At number 10, we have the EQ mode option which can be found under the Controls category. Other than the default EQ, Virtual DJ actually has other EQ modes, three to be exact. There is the EZ Remix mode, Modern EQ and Stems EQ, 
I already covered this topic in detail on another video so I won't dwell too much on it, but basically each of these EQ modes has different equalizer knobs with different frequencies. For example, instead of the high, mid and low frequencies from the default EQ, if you set it to easy remix mode, these frequencies are replaced by vocals, instruments and beats. With that being said, the EZ Remix EQ is fantastic for quick and intuitive adjustments, making it easier to create dynamic remixes on the fly. Modern EQ offers more precise control over your sound, which is ideal for fine-tuning your mixes. And lastly, we have the Stems EQ mode, which replaces the EQ knobs with stems. Personally, I think the EZ Remix EQ is much better than any of the other EQ modes. Why don't you give it a try and let me know in the comments which one is better. At number 9, let's look into a recent update Virtual DJ made called Harmonic Mixing, or Key Mixing, which is the mixing of two or more songs that are in the same or similar key. To display your songs in harmonic keys, under the Interface category, go to the Key Display setting and check the Harmonic option. To see this in action, open a Music folder. Right-click the top bar and select Key. This will create a new column where you can now see each song's harmony. You can rearrange them in harmonic order by clicking on the new key column. I'll definitely make a separate video discussing harmonic mixing in more detail, so subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to not miss this and other tutorials. Now let's move on to a different category. If you love making video mixes, then you need to check out the video random transition setting under the video category. Turning this setting on means that Virtual DJ will at random pick a different video transition every time you mix into a new video. It's like having your own DJ assistant who keeps your mixes visually dynamic and engaging without the need to change transitions manually. Now let's move on to the sampler category for setting number 7, the sampler trigger mode. This setting has four modes and each of them controls how your sound effects are activated. When set to on and off, you can press a sampler pad to start playing a sample from the beginning. Pressing the same sample pad again stops the sample playback. In hold mode, the sample will play from the beginning as long as the sampler pad is pressed. When you release it, the sample will stop playing. In stutter mode, the sample will play from the beginning each time you press a sampler pad. Finally, we have the unmute mode. After you activate a sample, unmute mode keeps the sample muted in the background, becoming audible only when the pad is pressed, which is useful for surprise effects and dynamic layering. Setting number 6 is taking us all the way to the Automix category, where I'll be answering a question most of you have been asking from my video about the Automix feature, how to play Automix on two decks. By default, when you turn on Automix, it only plays on one deck, but you can make it play on both decks by going to the Automix category and turning on the Automix dual deck option. This way, you can even see the crossfader move on its own. Pretty cool if you ask me. Now let's move on to the internet category for setting number 5 and 4. Since Virtual DJ is always getting updates, to make sure you never miss any new features or bug fixes, turn on the check updates option and the early access updates which lets you get beta versions before official releases. At numbers 3 and 2, we have the audio record quality and the video record resolution options, which are both pretty self-explanatory. In the record category, you can adjust the audio record quality and video record resolution based on your sound and video card capabilities. Enhancing these settings ensures high quality output for your mixes, providing professional grade recordings that match your performance standards. Last but definitely not the least is the Stems Real-Time Separation setting, located in the Performance category. 
If your computer struggles with real-time stems, set this to reduced quality to ensure smoother performance without sacrificing too much quality. Alternatively, you can disable stems completely with fully disable to prevent any performance issues. Setting this up also removes that annoying alert that appears whenever you try to activate stems. <laughs> Why don't you explore these settings and leave any questions you might have in the comments. Also remember to give us a like and share the video if you found it useful. Until next time, keep practicing.